Uh, okay, guys, we're now live. So this is sort of a um, sort of a sort of a different thing. So today we're actually going to be debating the the House of Lords and what should happen uh, with it. At least, well, compared to its current form, what what we should do with it, whether should, whether we should abolish it, whether we should reform it, or yeah. So so yeah, where, where should we start? Like, who wants to start on their opinions of it? That was a All really right, slick start. introduction. Nice one, Well, I'll start. What oh, I'll say to it is... Um, yes, hello, everybody. Oh, hello. second cat's arrived. Good. Yeah. <laughs> what I'll say to it is I think it seems to be like it's only come in the news recently about the House of Lords, mainly because uh, they're putting some, like, Brexit legislation on it and, like, the Brexiteers <laughs> are up in arms about it, saying it's... Not democracy, we ate all of this and blah de blah de blah and isn't democracy anyway. No. And well, no, it's democracy. No, it's not elected by anybody. It's appointed by a bunch of people that we never elected and we don't want this anymore. Easy mm. Luke. Lem Lem put his point across, mate. Yes, okay. But what I'm saying is these Brexiteers that are moaning about it knew about this when they made their vote. So now they're all up in arms about it, like Jacob Rees-Mogg and a few other Brexiteers in the Tory party are like, oh, it's not, it's not fair, it's not fair, they're not, willing, not getting the will of the people, but surely the will of the people should be scrutinised as well and Parliament should be scrutinised. And even though the House of Lords may be not the fairest way to do it, it's better than nothing, I suppose. But uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. I'm sure you may have different opinions to it. Yeah, I mean, to me, there's too many people like Blairites in, in the House of Lords because of the yeah, definitely, yeah. number that have been um, yeah. appointed, political appointees, but, yeah, but the and, whole... and other people with vested interests. So, you know, if they're yeah. all getting pensions and, and no of government is broken. It's not, it has never been changed. You know, it's long overdue for a change. Yeah, I agree. It's, it should be because, changed. Because it needs that no other country on this planet will accept an upper chamber that's not elected, bossing the, the lower chamber. No other country would accept it. Right, I understand that, Luke. But obviously, I know you. You're a big Jacob Rees-Mogg fan, aren't you? Well, yes, I am. Well, yes. Well, in 2014, when the debate was about having the House of Lords elected that was one of the Lib Dems policies back then mm -hmm. he and loads of other Tory rebels said no it, they should have more power yeah he wasn't he, calling for like them to be elected yeah well I'm calling now, for the he? abolition of the house of laws not having the house of laws he's done a U-turn on it now, yeah hmm. oh right so he has done a U-turn on it again, mm -hmm. again another principled who's supposed to be a principled man meant to say what he thinks and then changes his mind when the wind turns yeah, but quite don't funny you think these that with Brexit, it's now become even more apparent. Yeah, it's becoming uh, more apparent uh, in the House of Lords. System, it's broken. It doesn't, you know, why should the House of Lords stop the people what they voted for? They're not stopping uh, it. They're I, just scrutinising government policy. By that's by all. They're not saying we're right. The bill that people didn't ask for, is that called scrutinising the bill by adding amendments? Well, it's no, adding no, no, amendments no, no, because no, no. the people in the Lords wanted the amendments put in. And the House of Lords voted for them, and they'll send it back to Parliament whenever that is. And then the the people who we elect will vote. Well, it on goes it. back. And it if goes they, back, it goes back it, and forward. It goes back and forward. Well, yeah. and then if the like, people I, who we elect, uh, who we elect the MPs vote for, stay in like all the customs union, then that's surely parliamentary democracy, and that's taking back control. What was a Leave campaign slogan. So, leave to me, I, yeah. I I understand what Abby Cat was saying before about it should only be for a certain time and only so many House of Lords people because there's like loads of Conservatives and loads of Labour and loads of Lib Dems and there's like loads of like cross bench. What I meant to be yeah, like independents. Yeah, yeah. There's. I mean, they, like, they, why, do you need, why do you need yeah, why all of them? Yeah, why is there even bishops in the House of Lords? Well, they're there because they're they're supposed to sort of oversee our um, religious sort of. Oh God! Yeah, religious. Know, again. Of the country. I mean, it all dates back to when 
the Church of England was based, you know. Oh, religion Catholic. should have no part of government. Uh, no part. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hang on, hang on, it's hang on. historical, oh. isn't it? Religion it's has not. no right to be in government or, or policy changing. Yeah. I mean, so, I agree yeah. it shouldn't, but I, th I think it's historical that... Yeah, historically, yeah. That's oh. why most people won't change it. Can yeah. I, can and I... also, you know, you think of the number of Lib Dem peers... And then think of the size of the Lib Dem party now. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. They've got so much power. But then the only thing is that it 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 isn't actually binding, is it? The House of Lord Lords. They just send it back. Yeah, they send it, it back. Back and forth process. Yeah. Well, then once it's been, I think three, three times. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A long time ago. The House of Lords could use the veto any bill it did not like. Yeah, but they cut. They don't actually have the overall power now. No, they do don't. That, don't they? Yeah, but it's no, just a no. waste of time, as far as I can see. If they haven't got overall power, then why bother listening? To them? Can I? Can I? Can I just put in a bit? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Please. Um, yeah. Okay. So there are two arguments here, right? Yeah. Now. Um, the, the, the first mm. argument is the legitimacy of the House of Lords, whatever, okay? Now, I think yeah. we can leave that aside for the moment. Um, what we're talking about is what happened recently um, when, they, when they blocked essentially what was a power grab from Theresa May. Can we all agree on that? What power grab was that? Well, she said um, that she wanted to do essentially um, what she, whatever she wanted, whatever. Like oh, yeah, said, like having the eighth cause. Yeah, having the eighth. Yeah, you mean before they actually said there had to be a meaningful vote? Yes, yeah. She, oh, she yes. Yeah. Trying to block a, mini uh, a meaningful vote on uh, mm. the, the the final Brexit deal. Essentially, ever ever since the um, the general election, when she lost her majority, majority yeah. she's been trying mm. to um, have. Well, she's been trying to grab power, right? Now the they House of Lords have powers. been blocking this, right? Well, yeah. Well, I uh, think they should block it because the Prime Minister should have no power. Man, please, yeah. Please, mate. Yeah. Um, so uh, they've been trying to... Uh, uh, she's been trying to have a massive power grab ever since she lost her majority. Because, to be fair, like to her, she's she's clutching the straws right now and she's, she's pulling every string she can, right? Yeah. And look at the next thing she's trying to do. She's going to um, now put in, uh, what is it, seven more peers? So so she uh she weighs the, the vote in her favour. Am I wrong in saying this? No, this is what Blair did. Yeah, yeah. well, well yeah, 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 granted, no, but, yeah. <laughs> let's let's not talk yeah. historically, let's let's talk what's happening now. I mean we can yeah. talk historically afterwards, but yeah. let's Go talk on. about what's happening now with, with Brexit. Yeah, but yeah. to yeah. put it in context, it, it happens with which of parties oh. in of course, of course. I mean, you know, um, but Blair had a majority. She doesn't. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, so, so it is. It's essentially, she, she's trying to grab power wherever she can. Yeah. And um, the the vote against government, um, was it last week? Yeah, probably last uh, week, yeah. Uh, and they said, you need, you need to amend. Um, Didn't they have like 15 defeats or something? Like yeah, well, yeah, I, it was, I think it's yeah, been yeah, three awesome. weeks, yeah. hasn't it? Been three over a period of three weeks or two weeks. It's been more than just last week, I think. It's uh, been... Yeah, yes, I think it's been multiple weeks. I think I've been. Yeah. Long. Now, um, as as far as Brexit is concerned, I think the House of Lords actually did their job right, and and I feel right that the legislation itself was bullshit, right, and it was the upper house's job to actually say, yeah, this legislation is bullshit. Let's send it back and just say, like, some fucking intern write this legislation. Write it again because it's crap. Yeah. Now, yeah. this is what the upper house should do. Right. This is exactly what it's there for. 
um, which I suppose uh, is leads into the other argument: is um, should there be an upper house or not? Wow. Um, and that's that's I suppose uh, uh, a different question. But I, I suppose case in point is is that when you get really really bad legislation. Um, who is there to to put in the checks and balances, especially when you have, you know, like the Henry VIII powers and, uh, you know, um, power grabs that Theresa May has tried time and time again, yet failed. Um, and now she's trying to do it another way by um, putting in her own people into the House of Lords to outweigh the, the vote. So I'll leave yeah, that but to you. Don't, don't don't you think that it's also open to interpretation that they're using that as an excuse that it's bad legislation because mm. the likes of Mandelson and that want to scupper Brexit, which is what it's about. Um, whatever, well, whatever they can throw in the way of of you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the the idea from um, the Brexiteers is, is that um, there are more Remainers within the House of Lords than there are Brexiteers. Right? Yeah. Well, there is, yeah. Definitely. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I, I mean, I don't know for a fact. I mean, I'd like it's to see... It's quite a high proportion, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, yeah. you could you could apply that to the BBC. I mean, for instance, the oh, BBC yeah. is blind. Yeah, they're not yeah, responsible they for legislation, no. Um, so um, let's assume um, that it is. I mean, we have no data to prove it, but let's assume that it is. Um, well, I think we do actually. Oh, okay. I think they, you know, I think they have actually canvassed people's views, and that by far, I think it's something like seventy percent or something like that of the lords oh. would like to be remain in the EU. Which goes against what people wanted. Yeah, but it's yeah they have actually canvassed it quite quite widely. I think so. Yeah. I think it's quite um a, you know it's okay. not just a hypothetical figure. Sorry. So, <laughs> um, so where do we go from here? Is is the thing I suppose. Um, now you must. Even as a Brexiter, you must admit that the legislation that was put through last week was shit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because yeah, so so you understand why it got bounced back by the House of Lords. Well, yeah. No, that's assuming that's why it was bounced back. Well, 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 well no, it was shit. Clause's powers. You know, yeah, but powers? that's not necessarily why it got bounced back. Well, well, it could be all kinds of it. One, yeah, I thought I think it was because they wanted to scuff a Brexit. Well, no, 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 no. Well, yeah, see, that's that's the Brexiteer point of view, right? The, yeah. the idea is, is it's undemocratic because um, the the parliament didn't get to scrutinise um, any any legislation that were put put through, or didn't. There was no meaningful debate. There has to be a meaningful debate, right? Now. Okay, right. Uh, let me let me give you a, a a hypothetical, Abby. Right? Yeah. Now, um, I don't think. I mean, soft Brexit now has a home, right? They've they've got a, a, a cross party thing with Anna Susbury and and fucking. Oh, did you guys see the I've never you traveled on that bus. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah soft Brexit. They've, yeah. they've now defined soft Brexit. Right? Soft Brexit. So I wouldn't even call it that. It's no Brexit. Yeah, no them. Brexit. Well, nothing. whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. They've, they've, they've they've fucking got their corner now, right? Yeah, yeah, they've completely now, messed it up. Uh, there's this. I, I was thinking about this over dinner tonight, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and now we have hard Brexit. Yeah. Now. There are two types of hard Brexit, as far as I'm concerned, right? There is the uh, there's the Tory hard Brexit, which really scares the shit out of me, right? And there's also 
the the socialist Brexit. And I think what um, Labour need to do, and maybe the left need to do as a whole, is they need to define themselves and say, this is what Brexit, and rather than call it a, um, a hard Brexit, they should call it a red Brexit or a, um, a socialist Brexit or whatever. Yeah. And, and, then, and say, right. yeah, and then say, look, this is the Brexit. This is or people's Bre- the people's Brexit. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the people's you know? And it will be yeah, a fucking thing, cool. thing go. The people's it, it will Brexit. You know, it will be a, a clean break, but it will be yeah. for the people. Exactly. Not that, that's for what, the con- that's what people on the left campaign for, actually. Well, and yeah, what's uh, exactly. and what's uh, it, yeah. And what's the people's Sorry, Brexit when it's at home? Yeah. Like, it's what they it, do. What, what does it entail? Does it like well, it's nationalise everything? No, it means breaking. No, up no. I, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know. I, I actually because I've been thinking about this for a while. Actually, um, it doesn't involve nationalisation. It um, it involves investment. Actually. Oh yeah, because In- that's what you you heard about Corbyn like sort of going up against the EU stay aid law. Seems like oh, we need to invest more in industry. We can't do that unless we leave. So I think that's what Champy's trying to say. Mm. Yeah, well, that's certainly what they're saying, that we can't bring back manufacturing and that unless we leave the EU. Yeah, because we've, we've deindustrialized almost completely, whereas, like, France and Germany have still kept their stuff. So, yeah, yeah well, then that, that's not that's not it, unless we leave. So Yeah, and then they charge the other members of the EU. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, they yeah. make a profit on that. Yeah. Yeah, because that's that's what I, I I think we've talked about this a few times about like we leave the EU and we can maybe if the sterling devalues we should use it to our advantage you know yeah yeah Defa- yeah. yeah definitely yeah and we should like you know lower or scrap VAT and like proper invest in manufacturing yeah with a lower currency. VAT should be abolished altogether VAT yeah actually I saw a write up on that somewhere a couple of days ago and it yeah, was saying how we could hands. abolish it. Uh, abolish it to our advantage. Yeah, yeah. right. Why should we? You know, why should? No, I, I think uh, I, I think VAT has its value on mm-hmm. uh, things that are considered the luxury. The problem is, is that VAT was invented when, uh, well, it was, it, it was invented decades ago, and things that we consider considered a luxury then are yeah. now a necessity. That's the problem. Yeah, well, so VAT needs necessary. to be reformed but, but and it needs to be scaled rather than a flat rate. I mean, but it's, it's stupidly yeah. high still. Let's be yeah, honest. Oh, 17 and what? It's no, 20%. 20% now. Yeah, yeah. 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 And the trouble is, it's the people, you know, if you're yeah, in the country. We can't lower it below 15 yeah. unless we leave the EU as well. It's, it's, and why should yeah. people have to pay tax on the things that they've already bought? You know, why should people be paying tax on things? Yeah, I mean, I no, could I mean, be. You're, you're already going to be paying. Well, as someone on the left, chances are you might probably pay slightly higher income tax. Why should you then have to pay stuff on consumer goods? Surely that should be separate, you know? Yeah, VAT yeah. is an unfair system that was bought on by the EU. Okay, so let's just put VAT on Porsches, Ferraris, mansions, swimming pools, jacuzzis, um, you know, proper high income yeah high income oh, high, high yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I was talking about general consumer goods because it's ridiculously high oh, on those no, way yeah, too high yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. you pay vat on a fucking mars bar for fuck's sake oh yeah yeah, yeah. 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 like like basically you on know, anything that's wrong yeah. yeah and when you think about it why should people who are on bread. low incomes be stopped from buying a few luxuries i'm not talking about porsches and that but you know, to a lot of people on low incomes, ice, having a, cream, a chocolate you know, is a luxury. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah exactly, exactly right. Exactly that. right. Don't yeah. deny someone a box of chocolates, mate. You know, yeah, you yeah. might only get one. It's nice that is, yeah. A month or, yeah. or but VAT, it might be better for us, but... VAT should be for the wealthy, rich people that have a lot of money, so they should be taxed for it. Fucking hell, Luke, when did you become so progressive? <laughs> Well, I was talking no, to him. No, no, I'm You'll saying be that. I'm You're saying that. Surprised, All I'm saying is that the tax, <laughs> the tax, the way people have been taxed, like, like the rich, they don't get taxed much because they have all these tax break things. Well, the poor, well, yeah, and well, well, the they, poor they, they the can look I've been left behind. Uh, Luke, I'm sorry to uh, disappoint you, but the rich actually pay more tax than ever before. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, but they still have all yeah, these loopholes, though. Yeah, but it's proportional. And the government yeah. let them away by yeah, not they, like, paying they, what Google's free to send corporations. Let them get away with tax. tax. Ridiculous. Oh, God, it's just ridiculous. The way the tax system I works. mean, if, if I was prime minister in a position of power, I'd straight up abolish the, uh, or try and get rid of as many loopholes as possible. Yeah, make yeah. it impossible for people to get away from tax, tax avoidance. Yeah, yeah. but when you're but saying that the rich pay tax, they only pay it on paper because right you're saying anyone over say fifty thousand pays x amount of tax but yep. the average person that's on higher incomes in business they know you know they can employ someone or they know all the work so they actually end up paying far less than we do well that's exactly right. Um, yeah, and also you hear about the billions that the Tories are basically handing out to corporations at this point. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, that's just bad. Yeah. yeah. You know, well, they, you keep seeing, don't you, statistics. Yeah, the rich are doing this, the rich are paying that. Yeah, we're taxing them at high amounts. But you've only got to look at the MPs and that. They're all on... Yeah, know, that, yeah that, the board people have to pick up the pieces. Mm. Yeah, I'd call it, I call it trickle up economics. To be fair, that's what I call it. You'd, sorry, I missed that. Trickle up economics. That's what I call it. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly right. Well, it is, right. isn't it? It's people that can afford to pay an accountant, a dodgy accountant. Yeah, oh, dodgy. One. Not dodgy exactly, but one that knows all the oh, loopholes loopholes. and get out. Loopholes. I.e. Uh, George Osborne. So the yeah. one that actually creates the loopholes. Well, exactly. Yeah, that idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they set themselves. I mean, I had a boss that went into liquidation, and he was an archi uh, architect, a surveyor, and he wasn't allowed to practice because he'd done this wrong thing. So he was suspended for a couple of years. So what did he set, do? He set himself up to advise people who go into liquidation how to get out of it. Okay. You know, I mean, this is it. They know he'd been in. He'd been in liquidation three times. It doesn't worry them because they just leave people owing them money, but they know how to then sort of go off and earn money elsewhere, don't they? Yeah, not yeah, not paying them back for it. Yeah, and that's where the rich tax system is completely wrong, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and there's a lot of loopholes in the tax system. Mm. Yeah, and I think if you've got an income of a hundred thousand. Then that and that hundred thousand you shouldn't be given. You should actually get it all taken out as a lump sum beforehand. Do you see what I mean? You know, yeah. you 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 actually yeah. tax it. Uh, yeah, at the source. tax system in the tax UK. Is, we have one of the most complicated tax systems in, in the whole of the United Kingdom, in the whole of the world. Oh yeah, we have one of the most complicated tax codes. The complicated tax system which doesn't make any sense yeah no, well, actually, to be reformed. Yeah. i mean the entire tax system does need to be reformed yeah, yeah. Um, in so, australia you get you everybody has to do a tax return every year and then in, in korea or here yeah yeah, yeah. i have in korea. yeah and then when you do your tax return, you can then, like, when I was at the ABC, because I was in the library yeah. and doing research, I could claim for any book that I bought, I could claim for any CD that I bought, anything like that, because, you know, up to a certain limit, you could just claim. And if you didn't go over that limit, you didn't have to produce receipts and those you happened to be unlucky enough to be audited. You know, and and if you work in printing, for instance, you can claim to have your laundry done because you know, in the old days when they had printing ink and that, yeah, and that's how they do it. But that is open to a lot of lurks because the rich are getting every single penny at the beginning, and then when they get their tax return, they basically claim until they get money back. Oh, yeah, so it's like a loophole. Yeah, well, it's, you know, someone what? sits there and says, how can we get a, get out of paying this, don't they? And there's always, like, hackers, how do you overcome 
um, security to get into something, that's, someone that's they'll come up with a way. Talk, talk about hackers, because that's a whole other can of Yeah, ones. that's a whole other um, issue I'd not talk about. I know, but I'm just saying, you know, that's the same yeah, principle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're coming from, yeah. Yeah, uh, if there's in, something being done, you get out of it. In in Korea, there's... Um, now, you must understand, in Korea, everybody has a national ID. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and this gives you the right to vote, unless you're a foreigner, and it gives you the right to open a bank account and this this follows you right mm. now i know in the uk there have there has been um attempts to introduce a national id system yeah. within the uk and it's been blocked time and time again yeah which we, we should have to i agree them. with that i i do I, I i don't think there should be a national id system at all right I disagree but, with that. But. I disagree with that because uh, I think we should uh, have one. Yeah, but, I do. But um, that's that's just my view, and again, that's 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 a whole nother stream. Yeah. What? Um, Why? Did uh, it get living that? under a system with one, right? Now, um, the way it works here is is that generally you play you pay about three and a half four percent. Well, at my low level of uh, income, I'm on like the bottom bottom tier right? yeah and and, and taxes is, is really low anyway um so um what happens is, is you open a bank account with your id and then uh they're, they're trying to work towards a cashless society so um every uh you you pay three and a half or four percent on your income uh pay mm. as you earn um mm. and then um you ev everything you spend i.e. Uh, the tax on your uh, the goods that you buy is then added to your pay if you earn tax. Okay. Yeah. And then at the end of the year, if you have paid more tax than they they feel that you've had incoming, then you get a you generally get a refund at the end of every year. And yeah. this this varies. So um, you know, my wife would get a, I don't know. Uh, 60 like 60 dollars but i'm getting about uh 350 dollars this year um you know it, it, it just depends and you, so your your tax return as long as you use your card then you don't have to collect your receipts and stuff as long as you use your card or credit card or whatever it is because it's attached to your your id oh, number okay. then yeah. you're, you're just a number but it it, it helps the, the the computer systems so yeah. it, it becomes very, very convenient and it is very, very easy to do your tax returns. If you because yeah. I, I don't use cash for anything, essentially. It's it's all beep, 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 yeah. beep, beep, beep. Yeah, it's all beeping, you know. Well, we use our um credit cards and debit cards in the same way, exactly. don't we? But you're, it's you're, just you're, not you're, linked to your ID. Let's uh talk about uh, you're talking about uh hacking and crime and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So in in Korea, there is a very low level of inequality. Okay. It's it's a very um, egalitarian society. Okay. Yeah. So um, that means that crime is at an incredibly low level. Right. So mm. let let me give you an example. If you left your your phone or your wallet in a restaurant or a mm. pub or a bar they would actually try to find you call you and say we've got your wallet and then when you got your wallet back if you had any cash in it your cash would still be in there yeah okay it's that kind of society so when it comes to you know hacking and 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 this kind of stuff it really doesn't come into it so if if you're if you have those fears it's down mm. to the society that you're within not the um, not the technology or, or the fear or, or whatever. Mm. You know? So you isn't that, that therefore is... positive for having ID cards? If, you're, if is, you think it it's is, influenced by that? It is a positive, but I, I, do get, I do get a niggle every now and again. I do get a niggle that, um, you know, I, I do kind of resent the fact that, um, you know, 
all they needed to do is my number, like my yeah. ID number, and they 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 know everything I've done. They know everything I've bought. They know uh, the, the 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 services that I use. They know they know everything about. But don't you think they actually know that? I mean, just walking around when I go into John Lewis, for instance. Yeah. I often get a beep on my tablet because I usually take my tablet and I log on to their internet when I get in, but it beeps and it obviously tells them that then I'm in the shop. But yeah. then it, that was, that was um, voluntary, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't that voluntary was that I want them to know that I'm... Well, no, that would have. I might no, no, no. be going to go and log on to their internet that time, but. But no, there was an original time. The first time you went in there. Oh yeah, yeah, you, I signed you, up you, for you, it. Oh, yeah. you signed up to it, so you agreed yeah. to that. You agreed yeah. to it. So then, every yeah. time thereafter you went in, you're going to get that beat because you agreed to it. Yeah, but then when you're walking That's around the street, carrying your phone. Yeah. They they can track where you are and which shops you go into. Of course, yeah. Because you, 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 you know, I mean, you they, you yeah, agreed. so everybody's got this in from, that's why I can never see the problem with an ID card because, in my opinion, they know it all anyway. It, they might have to get it from three different sources, but if they really want to know everything about you, you can do it. Well, there was um, there was a case, uh, um, you can check this out on the internet, Yeah. Um, between Apple and the government, and um, the government wanted to have access to data on a phone. Yeah. It was an Apple phone. And yeah. um, someone had locked the data within their phone. And yeah. they said, um, Apple, we need the data on this phone uh, for legal reasons. And Apple said, no, right? you can't you can't access the data on this phone. So yeah, I have heard before. of that. You heard about this, right? And well, I don't Apple, know about that particular one, but I've heard of it happening. Yeah. Where and they've been Apple refused. Said, no, and Apple won the case. Right? Yeah. And, um so this is when why you have um apps like uh whatsapp which do encoded um yeah it's peer messaging you know yeah and, and it means that you can stay anonymous if you want to yeah um, that's why i use duck duck go yeah well there we go you know it's um when you when you agree to stuff it's 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 voluntary but if you have an ID card, or if it's a, a, a government-induced ID card, it's yeah. involuntary. It's like you have to do it. But it makes yeah. it so much easier. It does. It does. And it, it, it just depends on how much you, um, you respect your own anonymity. I mean, I yeah. reserve the right to be anonymous if I want to. And it's my choice. And I suppose that's the libertarian or anarchistic side of me that kind of comes out. I don't know, Asim, what do you think? I mean, like, this is, this is, um, I don't know how we got onto this, but <laughs> oh, tax, tax. Now I remember it was all about tax. Oh, yeah. Tax oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how. Uh, yes, it does make, like, like, uh, final note is, Yes, it does make tax returns so much easier. Yeah, and right. not just tax returns, just making bank accounts, um, oh, buying course. house, yeah, yeah, yeah. anything. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Um, how do you fall on this, Asim? Uh, ID cards. Um, um, oh, I'm, I'm not sure, actually. Well, the thing is, with ID cards, it can make you answerable to the state. That's, that's the problem. So, I'm in total favour of it. Um, but the thing is, it's it's a weird one because we've already got like we're already being, you know, watched twenty four seven, aren't we? So yeah. it's a bit of a weird yeah, one. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. And no, if I think if you're have... not doing anything wrong, does it actually matter? 
who cares? I can't be bothered thinking about it. <laughs> sort of, you know. Seriously, we should have an ID card for the whole Britain. Yeah, I think it would be so much easier. Yeah. And if, you know, if you find a dead it. body, if they've got a card yeah, on them, it's a lot easier. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There was something, Abby Cat, there that you said. Um, if if you're not doing anything wrong, have you got nothing to fear? That's straight out of 19, 1984. I mean, that yeah. Is well, it probably well, is. Well, but, um, yeah, well, but it's at all, true. Not at all. You know, but, it's no, true. No, no, sorry, sorry, mate. But um, is smoking weed, right, playing computer games in your room, like wrong? No, right? it isn't wrong. It's not it was a no, it's not no, wrong. But if you're but smoking, it's smoking weed, weed should, be legal, uh, should be legalized anyway. Yeah, but how are they yes, going to know right you're now, smoking weed? <laughs> because uh, you've got because, an ID card. Oh, okay, okay. So right now we have face recognition software, right? And yeah. all they need to do is um, they need to spot check you and they can take take a swab of your sweat and they know all the drugs that you've taken within the last yeah. 24 yeah. hours or if it's weed, the last 30 days, right? Yeah, but that's different, um, than, that's different than an ID card, isn't it? Personally, well, personally, I don't think that. Why should why should the government uh, say that? Oh, people can't smoke weed when weed doesn't kill you. But no, but is, I mean they no, they no, wouldn't no. know. You know, if you've got an ID card, it doesn't unless you go and buy the weed on on your ID card. Well, How would they know? I don't no, think no, it's no, the no, government's the right to know is, what you do what, in your life. What, it's not up to what, the government. It's, it's up to the person. What what I'm uh, what my problem is, Abby, is, yeah. is that um, say you get um, convicted yeah. for that uh, it's on for that uh, possession or or whatever, just just smoking a bit of weed because it yeah. right now it is illegal. Yeah, whether it, it is illegal. Whether, whether yeah. it to be legal or not, that's yeah. that's another matter. It, yeah. at the moment it is illegal, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so you've got a record. If, You've now got a record, okay? Yeah. Now, this is attached to your number, your ID, right? Yeah. So, um, it will then become difficult to get a mortgage. Um, it will then become difficult to get a job. It will then become difficult to um, whatever it is. It's all attached to your number, your ID number. But can, okay? banks, can banks access the information on your criminal record? No. Through your ID card. Well, yes, of course. That's the problem with ID cards. No, but you're saying, of course, it's not not a necessity, is it? I mean, you can have an ID card, and there's a certain percentage of information that the government can access or the police could access, mm. and then commercial organisation like banks would only be able to access a, a different amount. I mean, that's what happens now. The police can check up and see if you've got a criminal record. Of course straight away. Can. Of course they can. And and so without, can and, uh, yeah, but so, without so, an ID so, card. So can people that issue credit. Yeah? So can people yeah, that you get, to give you no, a job. But that's, yeah. yeah, well, if, if, if you get, like, I've had to be um, clear, you know, security clearance and that, where they obviously... They can check things like that, but banks can't. In in supposedly, they can't. You know, it's just not allowed. They don't have access to that proportion of information. So again, and unless I've done something wrong that I don't want the it's police. A slippery, or it's a slippery slope, though, mate, isn't it? Well, it could be. It could be. It could be. And it could be yeah. big brother. But I'm always of the opinion that just because we haven't got an ID card doesn't mean big brother's not keeping a, a tab on you. They they know everything about you anyway. So why not bring it out in the open where you presumably, like your passport chip, you can actually ask to see what's on it. Isn't it like well, that with know, the ID yeah, card? I, I, I agree. I mean, like, yeah. if, if okay. you have IDs, right, then that's just one yeah. step away from RFID chips, right? 
and and it's just a way of control okay well so, yeah uh, but I, I just okay, think they've okay. already got it <laughs> now, now let's let's just assume right uh because yeah. like career is going this way it's it, it's almost a cashless society almost yeah like we yeah. i i rarely i i don't carry cash around oh, me yeah. anymore yeah, yeah i, I right. use my phone uh, okay yeah so imagine that id number is attached to your credit or whatever it is your bank card or whatever yeah so now um due to some um face recognition software or whatever you are uh, linked to a crime okay now yeah. the first thing or the first mode of control is to switch off your credit okay so you don't have any access to uh, transport you don't have any access to any cash you don't have access to food water anything else yeah but okay. is that a hypothetical thing that's not what actually happens but it's possible within a cashless society this is possible yeah yeah, well, anything's put. And now she live in Devon because no, no, half no, the shops the, here don't don't accept cards. They I want will, cards. Uh, okay, <laughs> I I will be honest with you, right? Within yeah. the society I live in now, yeah. Uh, even through, uh, you know, because facial recognition software is not great right now, and it's it's having problems, and there are cases yeah. online, and you can check these out. Um, yeah people have been wrongly identified as being um, terrorists or um, part of uh, a um, a group that are a hooligan group, uh, for instance, football hooligans, this, this kind yeah, of... Yeah, so misidentification. They have been wrongly identified, right? Yeah. Now, if that had happened to me right, yeah. in society now, they'd just switch off my, my card. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't do anything, you know? I wouldn't be able to leave the country. I wouldn't be able to uh, use my credit card. I wouldn't be able to use my bank card. I wouldn't be able to use anything. I would just yeah. have the cash that I have on me today, which is about, you know, about 50, maybe 100 bucks. You know? Yeah. And that's not a lot, really. You know, well, most times I wouldn't me. even that's... have that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Um, you know, I'd often have a 10, ten pound because I don't carry much. It's my copper jar, dear. It's my copper jar. When I say that, it's my copper jar. Yeah. Everybody. No, but I, yeah, but I'm saying that, you know, like here, when I don't, when I'm local and I know the shops I'm shopping in, I would use my card all the time and I'd be lucky if I've got 10 pounds, not because... I haven't got ten pounds, but I don't have ten pounds in cash. Hmm. Well, again, that's another it. story. What I'm talking about is the element of control. That's what I'm talking about, and the the ability to just switch off, switch yeah, off. Yeah, but if they account, don't do it one access. way, they do it another if they really want to. Don't you think? How can they? You know, how can they, they stop the be... flow of cash? How can they stop the flow of cash? Though? Oh, I'm sure there'd be a way if they wanted to. Just to stop you, just because you're all, you're well without ID cards. Well, if if they were the sort of government that's going to be a dictatorship or whatever. No, hang on, you're you're no no no, no. you're 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 um you're going outside the realms of the the hypothetical situation. Well, no, 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 I'm, I'm saying... that I'm in now. Like, you like it's not a dictatorship. It's a it's a democracy, right? Right. Like I said everything everything is attached to my id number right yeah this is what i'm saying now okay yeah now, but presumably uh, this is attached that to my happens. bank account and this is attached to my uh my credit and it's attached to everything right right so now, just say that it's, it's within that power it's within that yeah. power to just switch off that number right yeah and then switch. is there a fail well not a fail safe but is there a um a procedure when that happens can you go straight to somebody and say it's been switched off it's a mistake of course of course yeah. I, what if it isn't a mistake what if i'm uh part of a uh, a demonstration or yeah granted maybe maybe it is a mistake and um i'm falsely identified 
yeah. yeah. Can you imagine what an inconvenience that would be? Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah, I can. I mean, I can see bad things like that, but I also think there's more good outweigh the bad, unless you happen to I'm get sorry. into, you know, it. Well, you can walk through the airport and get picked up because you look like somebody that they've just looked really? at their Abby. screen, haven't they? Abby, Rabby, Abby. Abby, I, I called you Rabby then for a minute. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, we're revolutionary socialists. Like, well, oh, sorry, well, we're evolutionary, well. but you know, I I do have uh, revolutionary ideas in me. But you know, yeah, I are you really saying that these these things are not possible if you have, um, you know, ID cards? No, no, I'm not saying they're not possible, but I just think that. If they want to do it, they'll do it some way. Right, right. So you say it's inevitable anyway. Yeah. Uh, you know, to, to me, uh, if, if Big big Brother has been watching us for donkey shoes, you've only got to walk out in the street and there's cameras, isn't there, and all sorts. You know, if they, if they really want to watch you and find out about you, can do it. You know, it's not that hard to research someone's background. Just Please, takes uh, as him, another as him half an hour. You're, do, you're doing my night with your silence. And your silence is yeah. Uh, I think we sent them to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm just listening in to you. So. <laughs> I'm just listening in. Just tell us to shut up. <laughs> yeah, indeed. No, no, uh, that's against my good nature. That is. Oh, good. It's my it's my lovely cat photo that's done it. <laughs> oh, they're talking about ID chips from the side chat. So I know. Yeah. Uh, I haven't actually looked on there. Yet. There's loads of stuff in the side chat. What a side chat? Hmm. Are they talking about stuff? Yeah, yeah. talk with. I, I, I'll come on. Come on. Come on. Let the let the uh, master this channel talk us to, talk. Take us through the side chat. That's it. Uh, right. Oh, what's oh. the side chat talking about? Oh, gotta scroll down to where I last replied. Um. We talk about tax, and then we went to ID cards. Yeah, yeah. somehow we got from the House of Lords. <laughs> uh, no, I, I called it the House of Lords <laughs> debate as well. <laughs> yeah, because because I think we moved on from that. No, it's all right. I'll, I'll rename it later. It's all right. No problem. I'm quite happy to talk about the House of Lords. Yeah, the House of Lords. No, but, I mean, we can talk about whatever. I can rename it after. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. The House of Lords, that outdated institution. Yeah, I mean, how long has it been around for, though? Oh, I don't know. Since what? Hundreds of years. Long like... time. Oh, know. Yeah, but it used to be power. It used to be. Uh, if you think uh, uh, back in the well, I think it was the early twentieth century, they brought in the Parliament Act hmm. that cut the House of Lords' powers and off. Yeah, um, and yeah, Shaft was talking about the ID cards are a step from an RFID chip. So I, I've seen videos on like where they literally implant stuff in people's fingers, don't they? And you know, what? oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it exists already. Yeah, yeah. Ex experimental form at least, like actual biochips. Yeah, biochips in your. Yeah. They do exist. Yeah, um, there will be immense fight back against an ID card or an ID chip. At pure nineteen eighty four, ID chips already exist in some places like Sweden, apparently. Oh yeah. well. They even take Didn't a fingerprint when you get arrested as well. Yeah. Well, I know quite a lot of places do with the fingerprints, don't they? Yeah, like, like I think they've got fingerprints on everyone. Yeah, probably. Right. Yeah. Mm. Right. Well, it's like photos, isn't it? What do yeah. they do now? They just go and look on Facebook or wherever. Yeah. yeah. Like and that, that's why I've actually never uploaded a photo to social media either. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My photo. No, that's why I put the cat. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's just my cat on Facebook. No, I've had Facebook for yeah. five years and I've never uploaded a photo myself. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. My, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I just put a cat on my photo instead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I, I've got you a couple. Hang on, hang on, 
Hang on, you put a dead cat on your photo. Is that well, I didn't put a dead said? cat. It's one of my cats. <laughs> <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> where did that come from? I didn't say dead cat. I said no, that Luke, that's what cat. you just said. I, I put, I put a, a cat that was dead on my, on my no, photo. No, <laughs> I think you must have understood me. I said I put a cat on Facebook. I didn't say put a dead one. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. Uh, well, there are people like that. I'm just saying, There are people like that. Yeah, I know. Mm. I've seen people do it. That's disgusting. Ugh. Yeah. But they do it on yeah. some of the yeah. animal things they put well, on. Um, Thomas Williams is asking in the side chat, uh, do you think House of Lords reform is inevitable? Uh, I think it... Uh, well, well, if it, well, I think it should be... I don't know. If it doesn't get reformed, it should be uh, abolished altogether. Yeah. I think it's it's inevitable if the people got their way, but unfortunately, politicians want control of it. Yeah. Imagine if you had so, an elected Senate, you know, the politicians in the House Commons, they would lose their grip. Yeah. And they, think... they'd just shift it around. So, you know, yeah, they might get rid of a few and then, but they'll still keep it so they can control how they're. Yeah. Yeah. It. Imagine having a Senate look... elected by people. Now, yeah, there, there needs to be. Um, there needs to be an upper house. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, 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 I think I, 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 I don't know anybody. Well, apart from George, really. Uh, and yeah, George, yeah. George be here, doesn't believe in upper house. Um, there needs. I feel there needs to be um, some checks and balances. Yeah, on this. definitely. There, there are, um, you know, three levels of parliament. There is the. Um, uh, the uh, the jury, the the not the grand jury, the, uh, the just this is uh, justice, uh, parliament, and lords, right? So the three levels, yeah. Right? yeah. Um, and so there needs to be checks and balances, and definitely. Um, and to be honest, uh, during this conservative government, despite how much I hate the fucking lords, I've really, really loved them. <laughs> Especially with, because uh, they've they've come through on us on the, um, what was it uh, tax credits? Um, oh yes, the, on they the saved it. yeah uh, human rights, and now recently on on these uh, a couple of power grabs from uh, Henry the Eighth powers, like you said earlier, Luke. Yeah, and uh, which by the way, you know, Henry Eighth powers, God knows what that is. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking. Yes, we do need an upper chamber. Yeah. But I mean, please make it uh, electable or yeah. democratic. Yeah, but yeah accountable. I'd like yeah. It elect yeah, electable, but not political. I would like an elected Senate sure, of Britain, a sure, Senate. Sure. You know, um, it's got to be would, wider like... than just political appointees yeah, yeah. because otherwise oh, you might have that's... what we've got now. I believe Happy in a, an elected Senate with senators. Yeah, I, I, I think the peak, you know, we need to. Um, and it can't be based on the. And also, if we're going to have an opportunity, it can't be based on our prophetic model of government. No, it should be like, you know, how people put other people up for nomination to yeah. get awards mm. because they, mm. you know, they're good in their society or. Um, yeah, I believe that the upper house should be like different proportional representation. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, not first past the post, because then you just have two no. parties dominating it. Yeah, we need proportional. Luke, yeah. you're really good at opening up these these extra cans of worms, mate. <laughs> Stay on point. <laughs> well, it is. It yeah, is like, like, like why well, can't we have an elected senate? You know, <laughs> where the people have a, actually have a voice in the, the upper house. Yeah. Mm. And, and as for the hereditary peers, well. No, no. I, well, this I, is, I, this was the point. I mean, you should be done away with that. They can really carry uh, that, that's yeah. just old fucking money. Isn't why? It? Why yeah. the hell do we even have that, Chris? Well, the only thing is, if we didn't have them in there, it would be even worse at yeah, the moment that, yeah, the way it is because we everywhere. just have a repeat of government, really. Yeah, you like, know, and it, they'd all be fighting how many they appointed. Yeah, yeah. A Senate being, yeah, Senators fine over all people. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, but, yeah, I think we should have a say who sits and yeah. has the... In the Lords, yeah. Yeah. 
I don't I don't think it would have a very big democratic turnout, but I think it will be at least it will be a democratic process. Does that make sense? Yeah, and so it doesn't need to be huge, does it? You know, you yeah, could have 60, yeah, 60 people. Yeah, should it be called the House of Lords or should it be called something different? But the problem yeah. is, right, I'm I'm not gonna be ageist in this. I've tried not to be ageist. Okay. But <laughs> watch it. But, I'm listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but most older people tend to vote Tory. Right? <laughs> well, I don't. I know you don't. I know you don't, because that's why we love saying old people vote yeah. Tory. But generally old people vote Tory. No, uh, well, actually, I disagree. Well, isn't because... their average age of the membership like 73 or something? Yeah, exactly. There yeah. See? No, See? but that's... So how can um... you disagree to data, Abby? Be... Eh? No. <laughs> because yeah. that you is know, just saying know. that the high proportion of older people oh, dear, are in the Tory party, but there's also a lot of older people in the Labour Party. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, it's, it, I, most of my acquaintances vote Labour unless until I came to live here, then the whole of the village up the road vote, votes Tory. Oh, yeah. Abby, Abby, do you, do you have like a, a socialist club that you frequent? Oh, I joined the local Labour Party, but it is run by this stupid woman that's the momentum thing. And, oh, a woman. That's why. No, that's dude, why no, I'm no, no, in no, my no. labour men no, no, membership. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't ask that. Like I, um, I remember like uh, going down a pub with my dad. It wasn't really a pub. It was a socialist club. Yeah. No, uh, I think that the, that's a male, a male London. Well, certainly, I don't know about up north, but in London, there was a lot of sort of working men's socialist clubs. I belong to the Young Socialists, but that was male and female. But we were all sort of, most of us were under about 20, I think, <laughs> that went there. But, no, I've never been to a natural... Socialist club, like with Socialist the... Club. Yeah, with no, the no. really bad decor and the bar and the... the yeah, the but cheap, saying that... Well, the cheap beer and the, and the, the cheap pool and... yeah. You know, had to be a and, and the cloth caps the and the yeah the cloth cap and the um yeah whatever but if you walk up to Topsham in the main yeah. street there's a conservative club Ooh. I bet it's yeah. all clay pigeon shooting oh, and, pigeon. and yeah. pims oh. at midday isn't it <laughs> yeah no, but it's, you know there's a lot of sort of old terraced houses and it's actually in a big big sort of old terraced house but um oh, right. i don't know i've never been oh, in uh, there but i've sure seen it as a walk like, ter yeah. terraced housing was a was a um a mining thing wasn't it it was the georgian housing that was the massive ones you know that really went back for miles you know yeah of... but like here it's topsham was built originally by the dutch sailors it, because it was the main port Apart from London, it was apparently the main port mm. at one time, and um, so all the rich sea seafarers built big sort of terraced Dutch style houses. Yeah, Cameron says in the chat, many of the old mining clubs are still open as pubs. Mm. Yeah, well, that was something we used to, to be, hear about for up north, like... wasn't it? That there were the working men's clubs were up north as well, I think. Mm. And well, there we go. Yeah, yeah. it was it was uh, working men's clubs, but some of them were titled the socialist, um, yeah. you know, socialist clubs or working men's pubs or, or whatever. And you had to be like a member or uh, a member of a, a union or, or whatever. Yeah, well, do. when I was, uh, I used to work for the Clark's Union and there was this is in Australia and it was in the Labour Council building. So it was all trade unions and downstairs was the Labour Council pub. Mm. Well, they called it trade tall pub, they really called it, but it was all full of unionists, you know, lunch hours and whatever. But it was just because it was the local mm. 
you know, you just walked down the stairs and went in there. God, I'm thinking back now to the 80s. God, fucking nostalgic going in those those bars with absolutely dust on the floor and the big old wooden big old wooden bar and there was what they call the six o'clock swill because the the pubs all shut at six o'clock yeah so everyone oh, yeah. Would leave work the at... chat mentions the, the high school shooting yeah yeah, yeah i saw they... that oh god i think yeah, they Texas. said 12 didn't they was it 12 yeah this happened oh, in texas oh yeah. god i mean what, when would they learn well, well, well they they the teach part of their constitution. So that's going to be the response. Bet you Trump's response. This yeah. wouldn't have happened if the teacher. Yeah, it's it's, it's like you have a problem with guns, anyway. and now you're throwing more guns at the problem. So you're throwing the problem at the problem. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Well, Chum, it, did it, you it, see it, what he said about um, England? Like they go off at us about our guns. Oh, oh, night, night, night. Night. oh, oh yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, I think I mentioned it, he talks about out. the hospital being a war zone, out. and yet he hasn't even looked at his own country, you know. Yeah, but they say we've got guns, but they've got loads of knives, and the, the hospitals are running with blood, wasn't it? What's uh, that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that man look, look, is totally insane again, half it's, the time. It's, it's, oh, fuck me. I have to fucking pull this up again. I, I wrote something. Um, but we do have, and I'll tell you how how old it is. And I, mm. uh, where is it? Yeah. Let me let me find something that I wrote, and it was. Yeah. Apparently, it says to... drama in Santa Fe. White Satanist ten year old kid was bullied, and he said, "I'm ten dead." Well, he was only ten. No, 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 seventeen, I think. Seventeen. Oh, oh, God. Uh, no, mm. I, did I tell you the story? I read about this a few years ago. This It's not about schools, but it's actually about the fact that this kid got a gun when he was 11 years old for his yeah. birthday. And, yeah. he, and he shot his mother to death 20 times for yeah. taking yeah, I know. away his I've video games. That. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just... ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. And they're moaning yeah. about, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, well, well we do yeah. have knife crime. Well, yeah, mm. we do. Yeah. Well, the thing uh, is, if there's a knife and someone... Else. I mean, yeah. knife crime isn't as bad as gun crime. No, if someone comes at you with a knife, you've at least got a certain chance of being able yeah, to... Yeah, you, you can try and deflect it with your arm or something, you know. Oh, Whereas, yeah. Whereas yeah, a gun, a gun they can just pull the trigger like that and shoot you. Yeah. And also, ma right, mainly the one... You the person to injure them with a knife, whereas a gun, you don't have to. You know, no, well, and with the ones in America, they tend to use those automatic or semi-automatic. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Apparently, okay. apparently okay. they want to arm like, the police now. They want to arm the, the British police. Oh, yeah. yeah. In, yeah. It was on our local... We have Spotlight for Devon, and yeah. our local police minister... Uh, police, what do you call him? You know, the... the yeah, um, not the commissioner, but the one, the local one. Uh, 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 I forget what the name is. Yeah. But anyway, he he's looking at having the police carrying in Devon carrying guns in their the back of their cars now, which to me opens a whole new can of worms for break-ins. Mm. But he wants them to have the car the guns in the cars so that if there's a terrorist attack, yeah. they can respond quickly. Yeah. Uh, seven. A 17-year-old uh, suspect in custody now, so... Well, I, uh, okay, so um, this is what I wrote from after the uh, Florida attack, which was which was a few months ago now. Um, yeah. And this is what I sent to <clears throat> Captain Swiss, um, which actually got me invited to his channel, okay? Yeah. So, uh, what with the tragic events in Florida recently, I thought I would chip in with my thoughts. Everybody's talking about a blanket ban on guns in the USA. Now, I never thought I would say this, but I really don't think this is a solution to the issue affecting American society. A friend of mine and I have had um, many conversations on this issue, and I do respect an American's right with sound body and mind to bear arms as an express 
in the Constitution. I yeah. do, however, feel that regulations on owning guns should be much tighter and all the online and gun show loopholes need to be closed. I do have some ideas about how this could be done, but that's another discussion. Yeah, the USA yeah, does have a problem with gun violence. But I fear if there wasn't guns, then it would be knives or acid or motor vehicles. Mm. Uh, my point being is that a sick, deranged person will find a way to do sick and deranged things. Yeah, and you hear See, about the, the ah, hang on, I'm not finished yet. Time. Not finished yet. See Van Attack near London's Finsbury Park Mosque. As the youngest, uh, as the UK has been uh, finding, sorry, hang on, as the UK has been finding out too much in our recent history, we currently have a, a stabbing epidemic in London. The TLDR is gun controls or a ban would not be a silver bullet. It is a mere sticking plaster over much greater issues in the US society. And until these issues are addressed, you need and you can expect more violence, even with said measures in place. That's what I said. <laughs> so it doesn't mm. matter what you do. I mean, uh, you, you can keep the guns there. But until you actually talk about the social pressures that are forcing these children or these kids to actually act in these ways then you, you're doing nothing because they will they'll choose yeah uh, knives mm -hmm. acid or motor vehicles you know it's just a case of point. limiting the damage when yeah, they do yeah. something no with guns isn't it you know it, as i as i said it, if they've got a knife you've got a chance of there being fewer injuries than if they've got an automatic weapon you know, someone could disarm something. You, you could pick up a chair and hit them over the head with it. Yeah, exactly. Or more easily if they've just got a gun and they're concentrated on actually doing it. Whereas if they're letting go with a, with a gun, you probably wouldn't go anywhere near them. Well, that's the, the, that's the only thing. Well, that's the only thing I always think. Guns are so lethal. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, and and this is this is where my argument really falls down, and I uh, and this was written just after the Florida attack, uh, yeah. the, and the problem is, is that um, guns are really efficient at killing people, and that that's yeah. that's why people generally choose guns, um, and yeah. and the argument within the 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 Second Amendment is is that um, it's it's to uh, guard yourself against the tyrannical government, right? But the problem is, is that the uh, the government now is militarized, or the police within the USA is militarized. Uh, so there, there is no real argument there, right? So mm. there's no real reason to take away the guns because you know that it's it's a it's a circular argument. It's it it that it, it doesn't. It doesn't yeah, work. and uh, Thomas asks, would uh, Chamchi legalize guns in the UK? Not at all. No fucking no, definitely way. Not. Oh, God. No. <laughs> like, what's the point of bringing I would legalize back? it anyway. Uh, uh, the, the, the trouble is in the um, in the US, you've also got the NRA. Yeah, mm. it was just that big and organization. So powerful, lobbying yeah, so situation powerful. they have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and their influence goes to the government. They give so much money, you know, it's like um, the people who pay money to the parties over here. Yeah, mm. yeah, but you the know? thing is... If we had legalised guns in the United Kingdom, people would be scared stiff. Yeah, right. the last thing I'd want. The, the um, Australian police carry guns, but they just carry a sidearm. And mm. for some reason, it's never got into the... I mean, I, I know when I was there, they actually had a big armistice. And anyone that had a gun or a knife could take it to you know, different collection points. And they were amazed by how many people actually left things there. You know, they might have been their dead husbands or 
whatever, but they've been sitting around in homes. But yeah. it's never really become that big problem that it it did it has in America. So there must be something different in the psyche. Yeah. Well, no, it's built on uh, it was built on guns. If you if you think about the American Revolution and a lot of the American Revolution was built on uh, the militia. Well, that's uh, when camp, the camp. amendment was brought in, wasn't it? That's when the Third Amendment was brought yeah, in. Uh, yeah, yeah, something yeah, I mean, it to do with the, yeah. the, the militia could um, then protect the um, militia. Is not the people. sure if it was. See, we need Cam here. Where? Why is Cam not on this? Yeah, where's Cam? Yeah. Just, where's yeah, Cam? I don't know why he's why he's still in the slide chat. I'll just throw a link in there. Cam will yeah. join on this. Well, ask him which it was, but I know there was. Um... Yeah, well, we did have um, mass shootings back in the yeah United when that when they brought in that amendment uh, amendment in America. It's, yeah, everyone says it's their right to bear arms, but actually, it was limited in that. Yeah, and it was, it was to, to do with the civil war. Yeah, it was limited. You you know, it, you know, it wasn't really made for today. It wasn't. No, no. but they use it as an excuse, don't they? Oh yeah, yeah. I like. I I would like them to go and read what the Second Amendment even says because I guarantee it doesn't say anything about what the. the yeah, and back then they just had like revolvers and bolt action yeah. rifles. Now they have automatic weapons. Yeah, which the Second Amendment does not cover this. No. It doesn't cover well, you, you think what the guns were like when they bought that in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Power you know, they were the type where it, it took you five minutes to load your gun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. five That's minutes. It. Yeah. Yeah, but and the you second can load it not like five seconds at this point, you know. Yeah, but the second yeah. amendment does not cover these, uh, these modern weapons, you know. It was never designed for that. No. And the fact that you can just walk into an American shop and... Just, yeah, no, you yeah, can't just walk in and buy a gun and buy ammunition. No, 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 no. no. you could have a gun like Yeah, well, what's the joke? But, go go but, to the groceries and buy a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, imagine that. Can't yeah, do that. Yeah. Look, 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 look. No, that's that's just bullshit, right? Yeah. Um. Uh. I've 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 actually, I think I deleted the video because um I was too shit faced. Uh, but anyway, um uh, I had this conversation and I I read that shit that I read to my friend um, his name's Nick right and he's uh, a gun loving left winger <laughs> oh, in the US yeah, yeah, yeah in Georgia actually so it's proper south as well um, and he he says that no fuck is going to take away his guns and, it, and especially with Trump he feels that his need to own guns is actually bigger Right. Um, yeah. So I I I do understand that I, where the loophole comes in are you know uh, Americans buying guns online and in Massive gun loophole. shows, mm. in gun shows, and uh, because you know legislation is generally five to ten years be behind the the online market. That's yeah. that's that's. That's where it goes. I mean, uh, Asim will uh, agree with this. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Is is that uh, the way digital goes? If you look at Moore's law, I mean, it doubles every. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, two, yeah. Like six to eighteen months. So. Mm -hmm. um, well, your computer's as old as soon as you buy it. It's outdated. Yeah, it's outdated. It's obsolete. Well, you're buying shitty computers, then obviously. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> no, but they are. They they don't last that long before they're old. Mm, well, then you're buying shit the computers. Yeah, like I mean, I build a high end one or whatever, you know. High end dog oh, whatever. So they just yeah, die out. Another... <laughs> I, I'd I'd rather I'd rather spend a fraction of the money and and have a new one every year. The false economy, Abby. It's a false economy. Not really. I like my okay. apple. I like my apple. Yeah. Oh, oh God! Oh, don't say that word. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> apple, apple. Well, well, well. Champion. I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got um, I got a ASUS ROG motherboard. So. Oh no! This is this is the wrong channel, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I have an iPhone X. Oh God! That's, oh, what, what channel? 
Wrong channel. Well, I've got an iPhone, but it's only a. I bought the cheapest one because I only use. Oh. I don't like using the phone to do point research or anything. Back on point, guys. Back on point. Yeah. The yeah. point being is that um, people in the USA can buy guns online without the normal um, uh, checks. They yeah. can go to a gun show and pick up a gun there and then. Again, without yeah. the normal checks that, that they would have in, say, Kmart or, or fucking Walmart or whatever, mm. you know. Or a you, you, licensed yeah, gun is, shop. Is, yeah, a licensed gun shop. Yeah, the, there are not yeah. the, the same checks there. And there, there should be, right? And this is, like I said, through online and, and this this is where legislation is like behind. And the reason for being is through the lobbying is what uh, Abby and um, and... Uh, Luke, you guys touched on before is that the the lobbying um, enterprise is 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 much larger and it it stops this legislation going through. It won't even reach uh, the the higher the larger house. So no, no, um, it won't pass. It won't. It won't. It won't. It won't yeah, the, that's it. it, it because because many people they, they, It's it's like um like the gun laws in the USA are like the tax laws in the UK. Is it's like trying to uh, bail out water with a sieve, you know, it just won't fucking work, it just doesn't yeah, work. Well, yeah, with, with yeah. The, it's too entrenched, the... isn't it? That's yeah, yeah. and we have, and we, we, and we in the UK have the, 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 the toughest gun laws in the world. Yeah, yeah. we do. Yeah. yeah, we do. And, but I mean, like, what's the point of bringing them back when you got on, rid of them? Because of two kids, that way, 1927 you know? killing in Scotland. Yeah, I mean, um, um, died. Yeah, if I had my way, we'd just dispose of every single gun. That would be it, burn them all. <laughs> yeah, but what are we going to do in a zombie apocalypse? Someone's going to need a gun. Well, that's all right. We just drive a stake through their heart or whatever yeah, you do with a zombie. Yeah, no, like take off, you need to take off the head with zombies. It's not. It's not. Yeah, get an axe. Take off the head. Yeah, no, no. Get get a butcher's knife. Simple, yeah. cut the head. I'll yeah, that, exactly. I'll off of your head. Yeah, what do they do in The Waking Dead? The, not walking, this dead. Walking, walking Dead, dead. not Waking Dead. Waking. Take off the head. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, the head's off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just get a knife. Who needs a gun? Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I'll no, just no, 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 axe them. Okay, okay. So, uh, <laughs> Abby, what's your chosen yeah. weapon in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> oh, you, you need to go on Chamsi's channel and do the Q and A thing, actually. Yeah, Dar yeah. darling. <laughs> no, no, no. Save it, they got save vampire attendants. I don't know how to get rid of a of a vampire. Not, I, th uh, I think my keep, weapon in a in a zombie pocket is I run the opposite direction and hide. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So, um, I'm going to have you on my have channel people. as a Q and A, right? Abby, right. yeah. In the yeah. meantime, what I would say is, can oh, you oh, watch hello, hello. a movie called uh, Twenty Eight Days Later? Is it on Netflix? Uh, no, I don't think it is. Cameron but it's quite the... old. It's, 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 yeah, uh, it's quite Twenty Eight yeah, Days Later. I'll see if I can see it anywhere. Yeah. Welcome, it might Cameron. be on Netflix. Is it on Netflix UK? I only have Netflix Korea here, and it's. Yeah, I don't know. I left off a lot. I'm I'm still watching things like Stranger Things or Strange oh, Things. No. I love that. Yeah. I think it's. Yeah. I'm waiting for the new series. No, no Prop it needs a lot of it. Proper nostalgic. I, I think it. No, it's really good. I think it's. I know it's supposed to be for kids, but then I love Harry Potter. So. No, it's it's really like it. Doesn't it remind you of the eighties though? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the sort of time it's setting and that. Yeah. But, I love it. Love it. it reminds yeah, me because I, like I was it. that I age. It was really I, good. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. It was produced by uh, Steven Spielberg, you know, and you, yeah. can, you can see it. Yeah. And they, they make things like that for children much, well, for young adults, much better yeah, because definitely. they could have put in bits that are for the adults. That you've got to be an adult to see, you know, to it's like, uh, pick up on. Well, yeah, it's like kids' shows, they put adult humor in there that, that the kids don't realize, don't they? 
yeah yeah, yeah. but I, I i i mean i hadn't seen it and my daughter told me about it and she said oh i think you'll like that because she'd watched it and i i sort of watched the first series like you know one after the other hmm. oh it's brilliant it's so, brilliant yeah anyway like Cameron's here, and Cameron's going to talk us uh, through the American Revolution, I think, aren't you? Well, I do want to. T tell us what the, um, how the amendment came in about the guns, because uh -huh. it was something to do with the American Revolution, about why it, why it was there. Yeah. Well, well this is a big issue, um, right? Um, uh, the bit in Britain at the time was about um, right to bear arms. Right, this is come from, This is a big issue in Britain because you know, people right, traditionally in Britain, pe people used to have weapons. And what happened at the period? People, this, this is right, go remember this is this is during the Jacobin ja when the Jacobites keep revolting mm. and where basically the government has to change it, but where people can arm themselves. Um, this is, and obviously. Going restricted on how people can arm themselves if they can make weapons any time they want. Um, they can you can keep a storage of weapons and mm. yeah, it's, it's still the Jacobites. Um, but those are huge debate about in Britain and they're restricting it. And in America, where the Corinth were basically independent before the revolution, but uh, they had their own weapons and they basically stockpiling them and, and the British. No, try to take the weapons, and there's a couple of reasons behind it. Why, why, why they have it? Yeah, I re I, I was reading something. If I can find it again, and it was something to do with that they needed to be able to protect. Like, I can't remember if it was the Confederates or the South, but they well, needed to well, well, be well, able to protect their leader. Yeah, no, no, but the, the Americans. Basically, from the militia army, it was like a private army. Like, yeah. yeah, wasn't yeah. It, was, it was a bunch of landowners that got together and said, and lawyers as well said, right, yeah. it's not worth. Uh, we're not making this money um, anymore. We don't have the threat of the French, so I think we should move out. And basically, there's a bunch of private armies, and that's how it was. Um, what most revolts were about Anglo noblemen, but this wasn't. More of a not not a noble revolt. It's more middle class of them. Do you understand that? Um, yeah. It's not a proper yeah, revolt. You know, um, Britain had proper support in some of the states. Mm. Look, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, massive support for Britain there. So, American was really interesting because. <laughs> Because all yeah, the one, they got they got a tower of the entirety of Europe just basically backed the Americans, and the only reason is that because they're a bit salty in Britain for the Seven Years' War, where we basically took everyone's colonies, and which literally destroyed everyone's navies. Well, yeah, I've just got it says here. This is this is the wording: a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, yeah. the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, it's about um, that's what Britain was trying to do. Um, yeah, the they signed the 1689 bill. It doesn't say what year what year that was. It was influenced by the 1689 English Bill of Rights. Hmm. Yeah, um, the American Constitution is based on Britain. Everything about it is. Yeah. Like well, because we were the only ones that had the legal system well, that America didn't really have the case law to go on. Did well, they? Everything about right, almost every legal system is based on our own. That's what people don't actually realise. It's, it's a, if you go abroad, um, let's say to France or Germany, their legal system is based on ours. Yeah. I'm just trying to have a look, see if it says what year. 1822. There was a case brought about bearing arms in defence of themselves. 
was 1822, Bliss versus the Commonwealth and the Declaration of Rights to Bear Arms. Hey, um, guys, I do, do apologise, um, but I'm going to go. Uh, I have family commitments, so... Um, oh, well, yeah, I need I, to... I hope, yeah, I, I hope... I've around quarter two-ish, so... I might start wrapping yeah, yeah, yeah. up. Um, I, I, I hope you have a, a great rest of your stream. And um, Abby, I'll be in touch about QA and then we'll okay. really get into your zombie apocalypse. Like yeah, years. what was the okay. name of that film I'm supposed to watch? Uh, 28 Days Later. 28 Days. 28 Days yeah, Later. Yeah, yeah. 28 days. Yeah, yeah. Watch it tomorrow and then afterwards we'll get into that. Um, yeah. Anyway, take care of yourself, guys. Thank okay. you. Um, okay, to, bye. Thank you for hosting bye. me. Um, Asim, again. Um, thank you. Uh, so, goodbye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thanks. 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 I was just looking at firearms policy in the UK, actually, on Wikipedia, so. Yeah, what's it say? Yeah. Um, it says it's it's one of the tightest, is it, um, general public firearms is tightly controlled by law, which is much more restrictive than the minimum rules required by the European Firearms Directive, but it's less restrictive in Northern Ireland. Yeah, because you, you find in um, Europe a lot of the sort of um, small holders and that have guns because they're forever shooting the birds, you know, when the migration's oh, yeah. on because there's been a big thing with the um, RBS that trying yeah. to stop it because the Italians especially love to sit and take pot shots of the poor oh, yeah. little um, migrating bird. weapons, let's have a look. Uh, fully automatic or burst fire weapons, semi-automatic or pump action rifles, uh, cartridge ammunition handguns regardless of calibre, firearms disguised as another item, um, rockets and mortars, <laughs> air guns chambered for self contain gas cartridges, uh, um, any weapon or whatever description designed or adopted for the discharge of any uh, no noxious liquid gas or other substance. This would generally include stun guns or electric shock devices and like tear gas and stuff. And firearms which previously fell into a prohibited category but have been converted to an otherwise permitted form. For example, a uh, pistol which is adapted by permanently fitting a 60 centimeter long smoothbore barrel to it does not thereby become permitted. Okay. I'm just looking at the side chat. <laughs> Thomas says you're a, a person who thinks white people are going extinct. Oh, that's Bob Elvis. The uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like the socially conservative one. Oh right. Yeah. He he turns up in all of my streams. So yeah. Um, mm. White people are going extinct. A dictatorship was democratic elected. <laughs> Um, most people there are carrying handguns and don't even know how to use them properly, let alone take on a drone. Yeah, that's the thing with guns is like, not so much in Northern Ireland, but like in America, they just they ha literally hand guns to kids, don't they? Yeah, they give them a you know ten years old. Here's one for your birthday. I mean, like I was, you know, I'd look forward to like a toy or something at ten, but they give them guns, you know. I know. Well, I've got friends on Facebook that, you know, I don't know, but when we were gaming and things, I've got, you know, over the years, and I've probably been friends with them for about seven years. And one of them, they're, um, oh, I'm not sure if they're Apache or one of the Indian country, yeah. countries, the husband mm, yeah. is. And they're forever, they take the kids out hunting bears and, Oh, wow. You know, they're really quiet. They're always going camping in, I mean, some beautiful places when they put it on, you know, sort of um, waterfalls and swimming yeah. holes and that. Yeah. Because they live out in Arizona. Yeah. I think it's Arizona. But 
they're very into it's just part of their life is to have a gun yeah and uh wasn't it uh during the election was it fox hunting they wanted to legalize again as well oh yeah yeah well <laughs> i definitely pre <laughs> except for the one that came and sat outside my window and woke me up hollering uh, oh really <laughs> What, what yeah, happened there? Oh. In my, well, it was only about three weeks ago. Oh. I was in bed and I heard this real yowling, like really close, and I looked yeah. out the window and there was a fox sitting in my garden bed. Yeah. And it just sat there looking at me, but it was obviously calling, I suppose. We we do sometimes, they walk around here occasionally. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. everyone's I could have killed that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I don't agree with fox hunting well, or yeah. anything like that. We, we're all talking about worst kill to as a man. Now, all the brilliant to bring about fox hunting and make people dress like up as foxes, so then we can hunt them down and kill them. I mean, people say we should have to as a man. Now, what if we do that instead? You know, we the prove the people on bring fox hunting, and we get rid of the Tories. Oh. The Tories wanted to bring it back. Yeah. No, what, what, Cameron, what about Tory hunting? How about that? Yeah, well, that sounds like a better idea. Said, but we're just almost foxes. Uh. Yeah. Well, that's what I, I, I posted a couple of times when there were people saying, you know, so-and-so MP wants to bring back fox hunting. And I said, well, let's let him go and put the dogs on him. Yeah. You know, I mean, and, and also, and also, people are talking about the MPs that decide, you know, for foreign policy, decide to go to war, and they said, why not? If they're deciding to do it, why not actually arm them and let them go to war? You know. Well, I, I agree. With, yeah, I've always said that that if a PM or the MPs vote for people to go to war, they should go in the the lead because that's what used to happen in the old days. Yeah. Wasn't it? You know, I mean, if you're prepared that, right, I'm going to send, say, say I was queen and I decided to send you, well, say yeah. I was king because a queen probably wouldn't have gone and thing, but if I was a king and I said, mm. you've got to go to war, I should be prepared to ride my horse oh, yeah. and leave, shouldn't I? Mm. Yeah, because that's, that's exactly what these politicians are doing. They're sitting comfortably making these issues basically terrorizing nations without any consequences you know yeah well I, i've actually always had a better idea even than that i think is mm. you don't have the soldiers and you just have like say it's may wants to go to war well yeah do it like a jewel her and the oh yeah no i i saw i funny things about was it trump and kim jong-un they should just have a boxing ring or something well, yeah, you know, That's they want to fight it. You know, because it's there, it's there, you know, they're having beef with each other. Why should all the civilians and the other people get involved, you know? People have nothing yeah. to do with it. Well, did you hear yesterday on, um, the, I think it was on the news yesterday, they were saying, or it might have even been this morning, that okay. Theresa May is thinking of sending more troops to Afghanistan oh, because God. the Americans said we haven't got enough there. Oh, well, the, 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 the Americans got plenty of troops. No, us Johnsons. No, got no but it's, they've got American troops, but they're saying we haven't got enough British ones there. Well, Did you well, hear that? It was well, either this well, morning or. Yeah, I heard it. Look, the Americans want the troops to battle it. Something wrong. And they've got, they got bases in, in virtually every country in there. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah. it's. Well, it's, it's about, about, and they're talking about like. Um, like the countries in the Middle East, and yet they're asking, oh, why are they so aggressive? But then you look at the maps and they've got US bases right around them, don't they? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, they complain about Russia having one military base in Syria. Yeah. Now, how many yeah. bases does America have around there? No, Russia is just surrounded by American bases. No, in I know Central Asia, um, in, in Europe. But well, I know when the Iraq war started and one of the journalists that came and asked me if I could track down every American warship. It was when it, when it first started. And, well, I mean, it's a stupid thing to ask anyway because obviously they're trying to hide it. But the Americans had so many warships and they'd already sent them 
days before war was declared. So they were all sort of round. Of course, they've got all their troops on it. And they can just let them off, can't they? And be there quick. So it's no like, oh, we've had long discussions. They decided yonks before that they were going to war. Oh, yeah. Mm. And it's like with the whole Middle East intervention. I mean, it's all planned. You know, you had stuff like 9-11 going on just before they went in. So I think it's all yeah. planned. Yeah, it's before well, I think, yeah. yeah, sorry. No, before 9-11. Well, the project for a new method century. Now, who no, was in, in that? The chair it was Dick Cheney. Yeah. And he proposed yeah. to go to war in Iraq and find an excuse to go in a war in Iraq. Now, this is before 9 11. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what they do as well. They sort of torment the other side, don't they? So that they yeah. do something and then they can turn around and say, see, they've done that. Yeah. Now we've got to go to war. Whereas it's actually us. They, that, they, yeah, I mean, but they help plan it. The, well, 9-11, yeah. they're saying, oh, like, and they, they after 9-11 happened, they pointed the finger at Bin Laden when he was, what, in a cave on dialysis or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't know, would you? I mean, it, I, it wouldn't surprise me if the CIA weren't behind the um, planes. I mean, I mean they were. They, they <laughs> fund all these military groups in the Middle East in the first place. So, you know, I'm not surprised. But exactly. <clears throat> and they train them, don't they? This is what they do. They they train one side and then they go to war against another side and then we step in and say, oh, well, you know, you've both got to do as we say because and then we take the oil or whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why they... <laughs> invade them at least and then they always make the excuse oh we're democratizing the nations you know yeah well, well, if you're the nations there's a couple of nations that should invade I, I, i'm thinking of themselves yeah <laughs> I mean, and and also but the, when they so-called democratize the nations all they do is they install a puppet there right oh well, yeah, yeah yeah what why do they invade, invade the saudis oh, i don't know they, they control the oil price maybe yeah well, you know you know it's, it's ridiculous um if that's the case, right, the men should invade the cells because I, it's not even a proper democracy over, over there. Yeah. It's more yeah. of an oh, okay, because no matter what happens, they always do the same policies, uh, in foreign policies, and I wonder why. I wonder who's behind that military industrial complex, you know, those no cons in the intelligence agencies. Yeah. They're always there and doing the same things. And it's quite kind of the same thing in this country, to a lesser extent. Oh, no, it's just, well, you, you get so cynical, really, don't you? Hmm. I mean, you, do, you don't really believe anything anyone says in, in well, yeah. Parliament, in war oh, yeah, or anything. What's the, what's the saying? It's like crying wolf, isn't it? They've said it so many times that you become oblivious to it, you know? Yeah. Well, that's it. You know, it's like when Labour keeps... You know, when they went through that stage sort of a, a few weeks ago when they kept pointing out what the iniquities of some Conservative MP, didn't they? And, you know, he should resign, he should resign. Yeah. But after a while, after about the fourth one, you just sort of didn't even bother reading what it was because yeah. it's all all more and more of the same and you become anaesthetised, like you said. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's like uh, the Middle East, you know, they, they I, I don't know, but the thing is, you've got two types of people when it comes to like foreign policy and like repeated stuff, you've either got people like us who just say, nah, there's something dodgy here, and then you've got the people that believe it, you know, there's two types of people nowadays when it comes to that sort of thing. Yeah, well, some people believe anything the government Yeah, says. oh, did you see the video with, uh, I think it was... Uh, an American guy called it. This was a few years ago, but when I think when George Galloway was running a different show, and he, a, American guy called him in. Galloway absolutely destroyed him when he was saying like, "Oh, you need to bow to America's power or something like that." Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. <laughs> that, that I, like that, I bet George would like that. Yeah, no, you should, you should search it. It's really. I think it, it, the the guy was called Andy. It's it's really oh, yeah. funny. It's really funny. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that one. No, search it up. It's really funny. Yeah, I have to have a look and see when it's on. Yeah. Ah. 
Well, I've got done shopping in a minute. I haven't washed up yet. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I, I'd probably go off in a bit, call my friend, and we'd we'll meet up outside and go to the. Yeah, probably gonna go to Pizza Express or somewhere nice. I've been there. Oh, ages. A Pizza Express is quite nice. My, yeah, no, I, I really like, like their. Uh, their was it their sweet? Is it Padana pizzas? I really like those. I haven't had those. The kids like the. Um, is it dough balls? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Yeah, they both like them. I like and, too, yeah. I might, I might order those when I go. So, because yeah. it's like we, because it's we've got exams and like you know terms coming to an end, so we might as well go out somewhere nice. So, oh yeah, you might as well. Yeah. Did your did your um, exam go okay, Cameron? Oh, um, the questions were perfect. Like, right. oh, could ask a better question. Questions. Yeah. It, 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 it was it was quite well. Okay. Yeah, so is this no. your final exam, you said? Is this your final exam? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. So, so well, you need to get over me then, yeah. right, Cameron? Oh, I'm not. Um, I'm going to put. I'm going to hand you my dissertation on, on first. first oh, oh the dissertation. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, what's your dissertation on? I think Champ, you mentioned it. Was it yeah, something about. 1945 election. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that'll be fun to read, actually. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And then you finish uni full stop. Um, yeah, unless you need to see an exam or something. <laughs> but, yeah, well, yeah I don't know. I might have to reset my Java exam. It depends what mark I get on it, because I just thought mm, it didn't go too good. But exam today, I don't think I need to reset. I think it went fine. So. Yeah, well, as long as you pass, does it yeah. matter? Well, the thing is, I'm not sure how much they take the first year grades when calculating placement year next year. Yeah. To apply placement yeah. Year, so I don't know. It's just, I suppose it depends how many others there are that are um ahead of you doesn't it yeah but the, i i've heard i was asking people about this and they said to me because i think i'm i think i'm not like clever but they said oh you're easily within the top 25 percent and i was like really so oh, I, I don't know maybe because i just give a crap i guess you know yeah well that that's that's it if you're interested in the subject and you yeah, actually exactly. Some people just go to uni and... Yeah, exactly, but that's the thing with the... Lunch, the don't they? Yeah, I mean, that's the uh, the whole thing, with especially with the tuition fees and student loans. Like, people have the mentality that, that oh, I'll never pay back my loan anyway, so I can just mess about and do what I want with it, you know? Yeah, but that's stupid, because really it's the rest of your... You know, if you get a good degree... Yeah. Even if you decide you want to do something outside that degree... Yeah, and it's like... I it mean, still yeah, shows I, you're capable, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like with my degree, I can go into things more like office-based and sort of management sort of things. I can do those if I don't want to go into IT at the end of it. Yeah, well, like Nat, you know, she's got engineering, mm. but she did work for a while doing proper engineering, yeah. like environmental, mm. but she found that boring. So she's, when she d works in that sort of fit. Well, not even that field, but she she goes and does project management. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, you know, I, I've done a bit it. of that actually. Um, first term, and probably next year we're gonna learn more of that because we've got a group project that's year well, long. Well, now there, there's a lot of opportunities with project management. Oh yeah, definitely. And um, yeah. I, like loads of stuff in my degree. You, there's loads of jobs in that field as well. Yeah, well, that works for you know GS four. GS. Well, I think she, so. you know, you yeah, know the lot that yeah, they're yeah, always yeah. on that. Yeah, I think I don't think GS four. No, yeah, it's, they they do. G4, G, no, yeah. is it G four S or GSK? I think it might have GSK. G four S, I mean, yeah, G four S. They they're the one you know that sort of they manage prisons and they oh, do things. G four S security service, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, she. she does a project in Northern Ireland, but she only has to go there sort of like once every couple of weeks and then oh, yeah. she can work from home. Oh, yeah. And they go give her a computer, yeah, pay for her internet. Yeah, but that's, and, what, that's what my uncle does. He studied chemical engineering, well, bachelor's and master's level. And uh, when he went to that profession, he does more management stuff. He doesn't, he's a senior engineer there, so he does all the management. He doesn't do low level stuff anymore, really. And no, he, well, and he went home a lot now as well because they gave him his lap, gave him a laptop and a phone and everything. Yeah, and that gets a car. She got she got an Audi. Oh yeah, it's a really um, zippy sort of one because sometimes she has to go to meetings and. Oh 
Oh, yeah, so they're like, oh, I'm, I'm on call, I need to just pop off, that sort of thing. Yeah, or she has to drive, when she goes to Ireland, she has to obviously drive to the airport. Oh, yeah. And that, but she's got the use of the car mm, all the time and good, money. Yeah. 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 But she was told that people like the way that engineers are taught to think. So it's probably like in yours, if you've got a skill set and a mindset, you don't necessarily have to work in that industry. Yeah, it's it's like with uh, my friend was telling me that, oh, he's actually the friend I'm going out with. He was telling me he actually studied English and RE at A level and he got into uh he got the computer science place because he did yeah. management stuff like in his in his gap year so i yeah. mean you don't you don't need to do course specific things to get into a job or a course or anything you know no you just got to have this sort of ability to plan your work and yeah exactly i mean with with my degree i'm, I'm well the thing is i'm not sure what i want to do with it that's the thing because it's just but the thing with a degree is like it's sort of a what has the word it's sort of like a prerequisite on in on society isn't it you know you sort of have to get one nowadays yeah so, yeah which like, is wrong really I because... mean like I, I mean like because the only reason I'm doing it to be fair is because my parents are paying for it otherwise I'd say to them no I'm not doing it yeah whereas for some people an apprenticeship oh yeah yeah is much better you know I mean you think how much yeah. plumbers and electricians earn yeah and they're never out of work. Oh yeah, and I, I I met a few people who are studying engineering at my uni, and they've actually got apprenticeships from the uh, from the army and the air force and people like and places like that. You know. Yeah, my brother's got twin sons, and both of them did engineering apprenticeships with the London Underground. Oh, okay. Mm, so they, they, they yeah. went to you know they went to uni, but. Yeah, but, but I had like, everything sort of paid and yeah, they, they, they pay the underground. Yeah, you need or they pay for your accommodation and stuff like that, don't they? Yeah, Normally. yeah. And I, do I you know, know what you want? Sorry, I was just going to ask Cameron what he wants to do. Oh, well, I don't have a crew, to be honest. You don't know what you want to use no. yours for. Well, no, well, it's hard sometimes, isn't it? It's really hard. Um, yeah. You know, it's it kind of jobs and what. You, um, what, what, what have they suggested? Because you've got a history degree. What have they suggested? Or... It's, it's a broad. You can do most anything with it. It's so broad. Um... Okay. Wait, yeah. you Would you like degree, to work in a sort of a museum or something? Or... Perhaps, maybe. Um, but if, if you look at most, this is the thing that's odd. The, the most popular degree amongst Tory MPs is actually history. Oh, yeah, I know Theresa May studied yeah. geography, didn't she? Yeah, for example, yeah, I hated geography. Oh, I hated that. No, I, I, yeah. yeah. All, um, all those, yeah. I, not what do you call it, the things that go around um, <laughs> concours, oh, oh, doing yeah. contour maps, and oh, I hated yeah. all oh, that. Oh, God, yeah. And Shafted says, oh, uh, Chanty's like, oh, you guys are still chatting, and I said, I'm going to end it soon. And then Shafted's like, no, you have so much to live for. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, if, if you eat every um a hundred apple pips, that'd be a good way to go. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, I, I have had, my my friend always says like about because well, he studied English A level. He said that people who study English degrees will will probably be like the IT guys for those people in the end because they go yeah. to management. <laughs> who, who's that's just joined? Oh, well, that's Chamty. Um, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello, Abby. Hello. Yeah, Andrew. yeah, now you actually get to see me. Um, I thought yeah. I'd leave my video. Normally, I turn it off because nobody else has it on. But fuck it, why not? Yeah. Um, yeah. Hello, uh, I'm Chamchi. By the way, hi. Uh, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I. The only reason I joined is because you were talking about education, right? And yeah. further education, and I, 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 I wanted to uh, chip in. Uh, because it's kind of my field, right? Um, and what I've noticed is, is um, over the last, oh, for fuck's sake, hang on one second. Yeah. Uh, what I've noticed is that over the last 
10, 15, 20 years is the kind of concentration within the, the, the academic degree and a kind of less emphasis within um, apprenticeships, that kind of stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, and it's and so it, it's kind of like you either do a degree or you're left out in the wilderness, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, and, yeah. And that this, this has been a, been a, an issue for more kind of it's like if you teach a fish to climb a tree you'll spend its life believing that it's stupid yeah. you know and this mm. is this is the thing you know um you know there are there are people that are academically minded and there are mm. people that are more uh physically or uh, visual minded and there yeah. are people I that are the more hands -on, never good. Uh, yeah exactly you know? I'll, I'll give you an example of my uh one of my friends in high school who's actually doing the same degree at that uh, same uni as me and he didn't do that well at a levels he got like bcc or something but when he got to uni he's now doing really well he's getting 80 percent plus and everything so i guess it's sort of different you know different mm -hmm. sort of environment i guess but I, I had a chat with someone on facebook about it we were talking about nurses yeah and it used to be that you could have an sen or an srn and the senes were the practical nurses you know that come plump up your pillow and oh yeah look after you and do the the less skilled tasks but apparently they're they're doing away with most of those so now when you go into a hospital what you get is somebody that may be very academically bright but they're not necessarily we were talking about this with doctors weren't we oh yeah about was it um you knew someone who was going to be yeah. a doctor but he didn't pass the but, interview or whatever yeah and yet he'd been ducks all all the way he was in my daughter's year and he was the ducks of the school sorry he was the year ahead of my daughter he was yeah. ducks of school every single year and he was an absolute brain but they wouldn't accept where he, you have to get 100 tr which is like full marks to yeah. be a doctor in australia but yeah. newcastle bought in that they interviewed people to yeah. see if you were actually right to be a doctor you know did you have the oh, empathy and yeah, and he yeah. didn't get in there oh my friend just texted me he's actually he's asking me if i'm gonna go down and meet him now so oh right. well I, I should so, go so, and wash up really so yeah chamchi if you want to do a stream on your channel i'll come back later and join if you want um well my um my niece yeah uh poor poor girl uh she's um she keeps trying to contact me that's why I've fucked off for a minute uh, okay. before so i'm gonna talk to her but okay. what i would love to do is do uh, a q a maybe tomorrow with abby mm. um uh please watch uh 28 days later um if you can fit it in between your gardening is that cool yeah, well, i was gonna say you might have to leave it more than tomorrow if i'm gonna oh, watch okay. a film um, because i probably won't it, get around to watching it the the the, the reason fun. being is it is it really kind of uh, have have you ever seen a lot of zombie apocalypse movies you know you know day of the dead dawn of the dead day of the living dead you know I've seen some of them and not like on YouTube um, on YouTube on um, Netflix there's a few yeah, yeah. but usually uh, about halfway through they get a bit stupid oh it's um, it's, 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 it's not essential. Pride and Prejudice it's, meets the zombie. <laughs> it's not essential, but um, oh, uh, yeah. it's, it's one. Of, it's one of my top, top, probably three movies. But yeah. um, so Cameron, yeah. you said in the side chat about doing a stream tomorrow, so we can all distract ourselves from the royal wedding. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, no, I'm watching the cup final, mate. I'm not sure about anybody else. I'm watching the cup final. Yeah. Well, every time I turned on to find out about the American shooting today, they were talking about the royal wedding. Oh, yeah, God. um, oh, mate. I, I, like, I've heard about the plane crash as well in Cuba. I was heard about uh, it. No, I didn't hear that. Was no, there no, a plane no, it's, it's selective, isn't it? They they hide the stories that should matter with garbage that doesn't matter, you know? Yeah. yeah. I know. Well, they were like one minute on the American. Oh, yes, there's been shooting, another shooting in America. And now we go back to Windsor. 
Sorry, sorry. Can I, sorry, I, sorry. Really can I, can I ask Bob Elvis, what is a do a dab? Do a dab? Do a dab. Like a dab. Do a dab. Do a dab. Like, I don't know what that means, Bob Elvis. Sorry. <laughs> the only dab I know is a fish. Is that an oh, absolute? Um, it's sort of like an op, like an all right, dude. Like a salute. I can do this. Yeah, Fist in the air in the land of hypocrisy. That's what I'll do. It's a, that's a the raised fist. Raised fist. Yeah. 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 What's it? The, the red salute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, it's a sign of solidarity, I think. So, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I think I'm going to wrap this up because I've friends just probably wondering where i am at this point so yeah and I'll nice when i see him thank yeah, you no problem. I, I might do one good. later if i'm still awake but no i probably will be awake until like 2 a.m so right well don't don't count me in at that time <laughs> <laughs> well um, if i don't have all the space um that has someone else to do streams at that time oh yeah what was that so, yeah, someone else could do the stream that time um we know who, you know who else does that. <laughs> no, I, I, I'll, I'll take a make of it. I'll take a piss out of angels, basically. Oh, okay. <laughs> angels time. Was it? My, I made the joke that she sets up the link at nine, um, sends out at eleven, then goes live at one. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, <laughs> angels time. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what sent Hawkins to his grave, wasn't it? Trying yeah, to that's, yeah. He killed it. He killed <laughs> yeah, that killed him. Yeah. <laughs> Right, Jax is enjoy your weekend. All right. Um you too, Jack. So yeah, I'll probably end this yeah. now. So yeah, thanks okay. guys. I'll talk to you maybe tomorrow somewhere or whenever. Somewhere. Definitely somewhere. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. All right. Bye bye.